I'm Sarah Campbell. And I'm Tabs Morris. And I'm Amber Young. And we are here at the Fayette CTI Career Fair where we will be talking to local businesses and students of the CTI about future career possibilities. I'm here with Nancy Rosel at CTI, the woman who put all of this together. So do you find this beneficial to the students to learn about careers? Yes, my position here is I'm the Cooperative Education Coordinator. In other words, that's a business liaison, so I try to find internships, job shadowing, and paid positions for our students. This is our third annual job fair, and it's quite beneficial. We have how many students that gain employment because of the job fair. Also, it gives our students the opportunity to meet the employers and see what the skill set they're looking for right now. And how many years have you been here doing this? This is the third year for the job fair. I've been here at this school about 20 years and I can say we have quite uh, a skill set here that for our students that we're really impressed with the instructors and the employers. I, you know, I want to say the employers. I guess you guys seen how many employers we have here and we're all excited about it. And can you tell us a little more about yourself? like? what you do? And well, what I do, like I said, I'm the co-op coordinator and I'm pretty much in and out of the building. I meet with the students. We discuss resumes. We discuss interview skills. I get them with an employer. It may just be for job shadowing to see maybe is this a career I like or is there another avenue in this career? Or it may be for a position where they actually, our students, I can give credit. So our students, if you have a student, let's say in machine shop, a machinist, they can be out four days a week, half a day, and they get credit. So then they come to school for one day here. So that's why, you know, I think, you know, when, you're, when you think of a vocational education program, career in tech, it's an integration of employers and the students. Okay, well, thank you so much, and we really enjoyed being here today. I'm here with Harold McDonald, who is a council representative. Hi. Hello. So, do you find this beneficial to the students to come and learn about these careers? Absolutely. Uh, you know, going through our, our apprenticeship programs are beneficial for anyone who wants to go through to learn how to be a professional carpenter. That's what we teach, and they're all tuition free. So, you know, when you go through our program, actually, it's true on the job training. You actually go through our program when you're in school, you go out of school, and you actually are put on a job site. So it's truly learn as you earn as you learn. Okay, and what are you looking for in students to? Well, we, we, we look for people who have um, a commitment to themselves that they get up every day, that they're on to work and on time, and they're there every day. That's what we look for. So whenever we screen our applicants to go into our program, we look at their actual uh, uh, their transcripts from high school to see how much they miss school or how much they didn't miss school you know we teach people how to be carpenters but we can't teach you the desire to be a carpenter okay so tell me a little bit more about yourself what do you normally do on a daily basis at work wow <laughs> I have probably 35 different things that I could do um, and actually being here at, at, at this technical center and doing my presentation isn't one of them I am a uh, organizer I uh, I administrate to over 15,000 members and over 3,000 contractors. I man jobs. If a contractor calls me for manpower, I'll go down my list and manpower those jobs. And I also go on to um, non-signatory companies' job sites and give opportunities to people that don't have the opportunity to be in our organization. Okay, well, thank you so much, Harold. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Hi, I'm here with Kenny Saliga, who is with Advanced Acoustic Concepts. Hi, Kenny. What is Advanced Acoustic Concepts? Um, Advanced Acoustics is a company located in Fayette County. They primarily build sonar systems for the Navy and uh, torpedo work. They build assemblies and other electronics for them. What is the most exciting thing about your job? Um, the uh, most exciting I think, thing I would say is the different things you're always doing. Um, it's something new almost every day and uh, a fun change of pace. Do you think the information you're giving the students here today is beneficial to them? Um, I definitely think it's beneficial. You could use the information obviously to help make a decision of what career path you'd want to go down. Um, and I think that's important, especially being high schoolers trying to decide where they want to go from here. 
What does a typical day at your company look like for you? Um, for me, uh, for the job I do, I'll typically come in. I, I do a lot with testing things, so um, I'm bounced around the place a lot, doing working on different projects. But uh, come in, uh, do some test a few different things, uh, go to lunch, uh, come back. We usually will have a meeting and then finish up the day, clean up whatever we're doing, and go home. It's a typical nine to five work day. So. Is there anything else you would like to tell the students? Um, just do your best in school. You should do your best to try to have a good idea of uh, path you want to take whenever you're getting out of high school. Don't come out of high school with no plan. Uh, have some plan of attack for what you want to do whenever you graduate. Thank you, Kenny. Hi, I'm here with Marissa Hart, who is part of the cosmetology department here at Fayette CTI. Hi, Marissa. What Hi. is the best part of being part of the cosmetology department? Um, the best part of being part of the cosmetology program is that it's basically free schooling. If you were to graduate and then go to school, you'd be paying so much money. And now, since I'm doing it with the cosmetology program at Fayette CTI, I'm not paying for anything. So once I leave high school, I'm guaranteed a job. Is there any certain things you learn there in the program that are helpful to you outside? Um, yes, we learn a lot with teamwork because to run a salon, it doesn't take one person, it takes multiple people to make it work. Is there any certain tables you found here at the career fair that interest you? Um, the college table interested me because I do plan on going to college for business administration. So that definitely helped because they gave me an application for FAFSA and just financial aid. Would you um, recommend coming to the school to anyone who doesn't? I definitely would because a lot of people don't realize all the benefits from it. It's because it's free schooling, you're not paying for anything. Okay. Well, thank you, Marissa. You're welcome. Hi, I'm here with Mrs. Martin and Ms. Lowry from CTI. What do you guys teach here? Health occupations. And nurse aid. We teach the health occupations All right. and the nursing um, assistant. What kind of benefits do students get from going to your class? Yeah, start. Um, well, they get some basic anatomy, physiology, medical terminology, and it helps prepare them for a career in healthcare and for higher education. And then I teach the nurse aide, so once they go through the nurse aide, they can get their nurse aide certification, and they have to take a test, and then they can go into the uh, work field right out of high school. All right. What kind of training do you offer your students? Well, we have the nurse aide. So um, they learn the nurse aide, they learn medical office. Lab skills. Lab, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. If there's anything you could say to your students, what would it be? Learn all you can while it's free. Yeah, because everything that they get from us is free, and if they don't get it now, when they graduate, they have to pay for it. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. Hi, I'm here with Diane Fox, who is with Schumer Welding and Machine Services. Hi, Diane. How long have you been with the company? About 12 years. Um, what is Schumer's Welding? Schumer's Welding is a fabrication welding shop. We also have a machine shop, too. We service all the mining community with uh, new products and rebuilds of the long wall machines. We also have a, uh, uh, an ongoing contract with the Navy and build winching systems for them. It's been going on for about 12 years. Is there anything dangerous about this sort of work? Uh, all work has some dangers, but we do have a lot of um, quality in, in our um, safety programs and training every month. So uh, everyone's aware and they have to be careful. It's always safety first. Is there any sort of cool technology you get to work with at Schumar's Welding? Um, yeah, there's a, a lot of different types of it with the welding and um, you have to have a pretty well ed an education in welding technique and uh, machining. It's a four-year education usually to become a good machinist. We also use some um, different machines that are like a CMM machine which takes a, a computer, um, good computer skills and, and different things like that. What does that machine do? the CMM. It, it, it's a coordinate measuring machine that you place a part, a manufactured part on it and it touches off of the machining areas which then also calculates the distances down into the thousands to see if it's intolerance. What's the most exciting thing about your job? 
job fairs. <laughs> Not really. I think uh, getting people hired into the system and having new people uh, come in and see what we do because we're a very diverse company, and I like the new. I like to do marketing, and bring in new work with different types with the gas company and other things like that. That's fun. Is there anything else you would like to say to the students? Um, nothing much. We, we do support uh, the schools. We support uh, all the community. We hire in a lot of people out of uh, this, the Votex. Um, we do well with the people and we're very pleased with what we've done over the years. Hi, I'm Thank here you, with Mr. Grimm from CTI. What do you teach here at CTI? Uh, well, at the CTI I'm a learning facilitator, so I don't actually teach a program or a shop, but I assist students in all of our shops who need help. What are the benefits that students can receive from coming here? Well, when a student comes here, they have a lot of options. They can either learn a trade, learn a career that they can do for the rest of their lives, or they can learn a trade that can be a bridge to something, something else. Um, but even generically, there are skills that they can learn, like team building skills, teamwork skills, leadership skills responsibility, employability skills that are universal. So there's something for everybody to gain here. All right, thank you. Hi, I'm here with Scott Trump, who is in the auto mechanics program at Fayette CTI. Hi, Scott. Hi. What is the most beneficial thing at this program? Um, the career job training, basically. basically what what sort for. of things do you learn? Um, you basically learn the industry, the trade, the tools. You learn about how to get in there and be productive troubleshooting and stuff like that. Is there a lot of teamwork involved? With auto mechanics? It's or is it more of, individual work? It's more individual, but there is teamwork that jumps into it. Would you recommend this program to anyone outside of the CTI? Very much. Is it, as you said, like free education, is that very helpful? It's very important, because after high school you have to pay for it. Is there any sort of tables you've found interesting here at the career fair today? Um, a bunch. Uh, <laughs> okay, is there anything else you would like to say about the CTI? It's a good school and very worth coming to. Okay, thank you, Scott. Thank you. Hi, I'm here with Holly English, who is with PetSmart. Hi, Holly. How long have you been with the company? I have been with PetSmart for over eight years. And what is the most exciting thing about being at PetSmart? Oh, geez, there's a lot that's exciting about PetSmart. But probably the most important thing is that we get to deal with the animals every day. Um, and we get to make um, mem memories for them and the customers. So um, anybody that's a pet lover, by all means, PetSmart is the place to be. Are the jobs at PetSmart very diverse? Um, we do have a lot of di diverse positions, anywhere from management positions all the way to bathers and groomers. So if you're um, somebody that is looking to potentially get into a vet tech position, um, this is a good place to get your feet wet. And literally, I mean your feet wet. Um, you'll be knee deep in hair and water and fur. And um, if you love dogs, there's no better place to be. As a PetSmart manager, what does a typical day look like for you? Geez, there is no typical day. It depends on the customer, it depends on the animals that are coming in, it depends on the freight that's coming in the back door. Um, there is no typical day and that's what's so nice about working at PetSmart. It is not boring ever. Would you say almost any pet lover would fit perfectly in this job? Um, absolutely. I mean, we sell reptiles and we sell snakes. Um, we sell the birds, um, lots of things with um, fur. So from hamsters to chinchillas to um, guinea pigs. Um, and we work with a lot of rescues. So if you're looking for a cat or a dog, stop in any of the PetSmart stores and you can adopt. Um, we don't sell dogs or cats because um, we don't want to contribute to the overpopulation of animals. But by all means, um, it's an awesome place to get a, a new pet. Do you think being here is beneficial to the students? Um, I think it is. I think the students need to know that there are opportunities out there for them and certainly um, you know it's a great place to work without a college education um, and you can certainly make a decent living and support your family. So if you're really looking for something outside of a, a college degree this is a great place to be. Is there anything else you would like to add? Um, stop by. Um, apply at PetSmart.com. Um, there are 1,400 stores across the states, so um, we have openings in the Uniontown location, but we also have openings in all the stores in the surrounding area in the Pittsburgh market. Thank you, Holly. Thank you for having me. Hi, I'm here with Jim Gallick, who is with the Iron Worker Apprenticeship Program. Hi, Jim. What exactly do you do at IWAP? 
uh, I run the training program for the iron workers. Iron workers build skyscrapers and bridges. And we run the apprenticeship training program. And uh, we have a fantastic opportunity for young men and women who want a career climbing a high iron. How long have you been with the company? I've been an iron worker for 33 years. I've been the training director for eight. What's the most exciting thing about working with the IWAP? Oh, there's, there's many exciting things, but one of the most exciting things is just the type of work you are and the type of structures you work on. You're above the city, looking down on the people. You're, you know, you're up on the iron on a, on a crisp spring morning. It's, there's just a lot, of, a lot of fun things about it. What sort of projects have you worked on? I've worked on uh, both big stadiums in Pittsburgh, PNC Park, Heinz Field, uh, several skyscrapers, lots of parking garages. It's just the, the list is too numerous to, to list. What is the most beneficial thing you can say to the students? Probably the most beneficial thing I could say is the fact that you have a career that earns good wages, you have benefits, you can raise a family, buy a house, and just have a secure career. What sort of education do you need? Uh, to get into our program, all you need is a high school education. We will teach you everything else. We'll teach you the welding skills, we'll teach you the construction skills, we'll teach you how to build a skyscraper. Uh, just need you just need a high school education be be determined to work hard and uh, be on time and and just be punctual be on time show up every day be drug free thank you Jim hi I'm here with Lindsay Schenel from Brownsville High School and she is part of the culinary department here at Fayette CTI hi Lindsay hi what is the most beneficial thing about the culinary department you learn how to cook <laughs> Is there any certain things that help you outside of the school? It could help you get a career in like the food service. Is there any certain um, part of culinary that you want to go into, like restaurant, a chef? Like food um, I want to be a chef in oh my own restaurant. Oh, that's a really cool. Is there anything here at the um, career fair that interested you today? Um, I didn't really look at everything, but there's some stuff that interested me. Like what? Um, I was interested in like going to, well after school I'm actually just thinking about getting a straight job like a, in an office. So are you interested in going into college? Yeah. Would you like to major in culinary arts? Yeah, I would like that. Okay, well thank you. Okay. Hi, I am here with Denise Cato who is a talent acquisition specialist for Teletech. Hi Denise, what is Teletech? Hi, Teletech. We are an outsourcing company. We have been in the Uniontown area for over 17 years. We're currently hiring for different programs. Right now we're hiring for the American Red Cross program. We are hiring for sales agents. It's a 10 dollars an hour plus uncapped commission. Uh, we invite you to come up and apply at, this, at our site or you can actually go to www.teletechjobs.com. How long have you been with the company? Well, our company is over 30 years old. I'm actually, I've been there almost 17 full years. I myself was an agent. I took customer service calls for Teletech. I learned all about banking, about credit cards, getting a good credit history, and I also learned about mortgage servicing. So at Teletech, you can uh, really grow there. There's a lot of opportunity at Teletech. What is the job experience like? The job experience, well, I'll tell you what, it's really teach you and get you ready for life. You've got to go to work every day. You've got to be on time and you've got to do your job every day. You learn a lot and you're expected to be in your seat every day, taking your phone calls, doing your jobs. It teaches you a lot about discipline. And after six months of employment, you can actually try to move up at Teletech. I've worked with people that are amazing. They're now trainers or supervisors. They travel the country. Some of the folks I even know travel the world with Teletech. So there's a lot of opportunity to grow. Would you say this is more of a teamwork or individual job? It's all about teamwork. We expect everyone to be at work, but uh, you all work together as a team. Sometimes you don't know an answer to a question, and the person next to you is the person there that's going to help you. So it's definitely all about teamwork. What's the most exciting thing about your job? I absolutely love my job. I get to help people that do not have employment. I get to put them in the right place. Maybe we, someone's homeless. Maybe someone just moved into the area. Maybe someone lost their job because of a plant closure or something like that. I love to help people gain employment and become productive and, and grow. Is there anything else that you would like to add to the, that would be beneficial to the students? 
whenever this is my third time I've been out here I love talking to the children the people in school I ask them about their futures I let them know how teletech is something that they could look into that it's not just taking phone calls that we help with American Red Cross we help with banking so we let them know how it can integrate in what they're going to school for thank you Denise you are quite welcome thanks so much for the interview today With Dom Baxter from Cherry Tree Nursing Center. So, Dom, what is a daily? What do you do daily? Um, well, I'm an LPN. Um, I went to a tech school similar to this one and got my license and started a career in uh, nursing. Um, I've been in long-term care now for about 27 years. Um, we do everything from hands-on patient care to passing medications to um, anything you can imagine. Um, currently. Um, we're looking for nurses, we're looking for CNAs, we're looking for uh, housekeeping, dietary, maintenance, summer help. So there's a lot of opportunities here at the job fair for the young guys to come out and put an application in and see if we can get you hired. Is there anything else you'd like to add for the students? Um, I think it's a great opportunity that you guys have as job fair. Um, I only heard of it this year. But there's a lot of opportunities here for you. There's a lot of people here. It's it's nice. Thank you. Hey, thank you. Hi, I'm here with Rick Petrosky from 84 Lumber. Hi, Rick. How long have you been with the company? I have been with the company for five years now. What part of the company are you in? Where is it located? Uh, we I am a, particularly at the coal center plant where we build roof trusses, floor trusses, and wall panels. How long have you been at that company? I've been at that particular plant for approximately two years. I had also worked in our Knoxville plant back in 2006 before the economy went down. We've only got four plants now. Uh, we still have the one in Cole Center, one in Mount Aries, Maryland, uh, Kings Mountain, North Carolina, and one in Tennessee. Do you find what you have to say to the students today be beneficial? We, we, you've had a lot of uh, folks that have came in here that were very, very interested in uh, coming in there for part-time work right now. What's the most exciting thing about your job? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, I think it's the uh, chance of growing with the company. Uh, you start out at the very, very bottom and you have uh, plenty of opportunity to grow with the company inside to move up the ladder and become a big time person there you know working at the corporate office does this job involve a lot of teamwork or is it more individual work it actually depends on where you're at we do have parts where you would be working individually like in a, like a design area you would work at your own design area desk but then if you were building the roof trusses or all that it is a teamwork type thing atmosphere is there any sort of cool technology you get to work with I have got to work with all of our saws. We have three different saws in my particular plant. I have worked all three saws. Uh, you get to drive forklifts, work the tables. There's, there's, it's a pretty good thing, pretty good thing. Is there anything else you would like to say to the students? Anybody that is looking for a good starting career, 84 Lumber has been with us for since 1956. We are going on 60 years being around the area. Joe Hardy and his daughter Maggie have done very, very well with helping people out. And if you're looking to start a career out with a very good name company around the area, come join us down at 84 Lumber. Well, thank you, Rick. Thank you. I'm here with Tim Wachonski, who is an electrician with the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers. Hi, Tim. What exactly is the IBEW? Uh, the IBEW is the, uh, uh, we're the electricians in the construction trade. Uh, we are actually uh, an apprenticeship program, and uh, we do a lot of construction all around the uh, Pittsburgh area. We cover 23 counties. Uh, we build buildings, we build stadiums, uh, we do uh, communication work. Uh, anything that has to do with anything electrical in the city, we do it. How long have you been with the company? I have been uh, in uh, the IBW for 35 years. Uh, I was uh, out in the field, uh, what we call out in the field, uh, working on the job sites for 25 years. I 
became an instructor. I was a full-time instructor for another 10 years and the last three years I've been the assistant training director. What's the job environment like there? Uh, the job environment uh, on a construction site, uh, first of all, we like to say that uh, you know if you like to work with your hands and if you want to work outside or if you want to work in the heat, that's something that you really have to want to do because it's very, very difficult uh, to get out of bed when it's five below zero and want to go to work, but that's the way we are. So th that, that environment, uh, it's a harsh environment to work in, but it is a very gratifying environment to work in. Uh, there's nothing better than to be able to walk uh, down the street of Pittsburgh and, and uh, look up at the buildings and, and tell everybody that you work there and, and you help build that building. What's the most exciting thing about your job? The most exciting thing about our job, I would have to say, is uh, when, when you actually get to uh, run a piece of conduit, pull the wire, uh, make a termination and uh, you, you, you turn a switch on and you get to see the lights come on and you get to see the fans come on uh, that, that's that's pretty exciting thing for for us uh, you know uh, to be able to stand up on Mount Washington and look down over the city and know that you were part of you know the, the all the lights that are on there that's that's pretty exciting is there any projects you've worked on that people would know like that are well known Oh yeah, I, I've worked, uh, I've had the opportunity actually to work, uh, I worked in the old Three Rivers Stadium, uh, I worked at the uh, Civic Arena, uh, but I guess I'm showing my age a little bit now because uh, both of those buildings are gone. Uh, however, I, I, I was, you know, I was, uh, I worked at the Heinz plant for, uh, for five years, uh, it was a very, very interesting job uh, in the uh, food processing industry. Uh, uh, I worked at uh, all the major buildings uh, downtown, the, you know, the PPG building. I worked at the uh, Mellon building. Uh, so I, I, I was able to work in a lot of different areas. And, and as I said, it's nothing better than to be able to walk into an area and tell people, hey, you know what, I did that right there. Do you have anything beneficial to say to the students? I would say that if you are interested in this trade or any of our trades, number one, I would tell you, make sure that you uh, make sure that you study your math, make sure that you pay attention to your English because you're going to need those skills also. It's not just uh, you know putting putting wires together. That's that's more. We do a lot more than that. Uh, I would also tell you, make sure you have a driver's license. Make sure you. Uh, are free of drugs uh, and the biggest thing I will tell you is make sure that you go to school every day because we look at that those records we don't want you if you can't make it to school we don't want you if you can't make it to school on time uh, the construction industry requires you to be on time and not at uh, if the job starts at seven o'clock that doesn't mean coming in at five till seven it means being there at quarter to seven uh, being ready to go to work and we need you to be there every single day because you are a part of the team and we need you to be there well thank you Tim well thank you and thanks for inviting me here this, this is a uh, you have a great school here and uh, it's a very nice program and uh, I look look forward to coming back again next year hi I'm here with Tom Kramer who is with Fay Penn what exactly is Fay Penn Fay Penn is the Economic Development Council of Fayette County. Uh, what we do is, everything that we do is based on a strong economy. We do a lot of workforce development, we do a lot of small business association loans, we do um, what we call micro loans for small businesses. What we try to do is bring business into Fayette County and keep people like you in Fayette County. <laughs> what is the most exciting thing about working with Fay Penn? You're looking at it. <laughs> what, I'm, what I'm doing right here in this in this room is the most exciting thing I do all day. I get to go out and I get to work with people. I'm a workforce development specialist. And what that means is we go out and try to find programs for people to qualify them for great, the great jobs that are in this room. How long have you been a development specialist with Fay Penn? With Fay Penn, about two and a half years. And in total, like how long have you been a development specialist? Not just with that company. I spent 30 years in the military. Oh, and really? Part of what we did in the military was 
actually workforce development. I've worked in the training world for almost 10 years, uh, training sailors on how to do their job and basically what, what Advanced Acoustics and some of the other places around here are doing, I did that. What sort of education do you need to have such a position as you do? Okay, I have a Bachelor of Science degree in Organizational Management and I'm working right now I have one more class to go for a master's degree in organizational behavior. Well, congratulations. Well, thank you. Okay. Well, thank you, Tom. Well, thank you. I'm here with Dr. Jeffries, the superintendent of CTI. Hi, Dr. Jeffries. Good morning. How are you? Pretty good. How about you? Great. And I want to thank you guys for coming over and helping us out. Well, thank you for uh, letting us come over. And if we get an opportunity, we're going to uh, play this in our board meeting uh, two Mondays from now, so we're excited about that. As you can see, we had 31 employers turn out for this event, and as you can also see, all the uh, students are participating, talking, and, and finding if they have an opportunity for gainful employment. And I think we can also see by the turnout of the employers that skill-based training is very important to our community and to our success as a community. So we're really excited about an opportunity like this. Again, our third year, we get better at it every year. Nancy Rosso is our co-op coordinator and she lined all of this up, which is a pretty difficult uh, thing to do. So we applaud her for her efforts. And again, our students are actively participating, as you can see as you look around. Uh, and I hope, again, that um, the public recognizes that the Fayette County Career and Technical Institute is a place to be if you are serious about skill training. So um, tell us a little bit about your school and your students. Well, um, for those people that haven't been to our school, we're located at 175 George's Fair Chance Road here in Uniontown. And we have been here, this is our 50th year. We're celebrating this year, our 50th year. We're celebrating all year, so it's a one-year party. Kind of exciting. The students are enjoying it, faculty are enjoying it, and we, this year, were able to create our first wall of fame. And if you're walking through our hall, you'll see a, a huge wall that has gold sealed, and we have currently 22 people on that wall. So we're really excited about it. Those are people that attended our school, graduated, and have either successful businesses of their own or working gainfully in our area. So we're really excited about that. We're on 42 acres here, and as I talked earlier today, we, we go outside of the traditional skill uh, sets that we teach here. We have 16 programs. We also raise trout and we raise trout to replenish in the community, which is something that uh, we have done now for five years. Um, recently, we started doing pheasants. Well, six years ago we started that. So each year we raise about uh, 2,000 pheasants and we release them into the community. So it's a pretty exciting place to be. We also raise quail. So that's just a little component in our agricultural class and we do a lot of other uh, things in our community. Uh, for the different school districts. So we're excited about being here, having a school like this available to our community students. Okay, well, thank you so much, Dr. Jeffries. You bet. And thank you for inviting us to be here. You bet. It was nice to meet you. It was you. nice meeting you, too. Bye-bye. Okay. It is now time to say goodbye. With ADTV, I'm Sarah Campbell. And I'm Tabs Morris. And I'm Amber Young. We hope the interviews with the local businesses and CTI students gave you great insight to about future career possibilities. Thank you for, to the Fayette CTI for letting us appear here today. Lastly, I'm Sarah. And I'm Tabitha. And I'm Amber. Make it a great day or not, the choice is yours. Mm -hmm.